So, Frankie, we're all embracing the fall beauty right now, and winter still feels far away, thank goodness. But if you have a lawn, it is time to prep it for the cold, snowy days ahead, and you've got the steps we need to be taking now to have our lawns in tip-top shape come spring. So, how can we prepare our lawn for the winter weather, my friend? Yeah, you know what, like fall is not the time to fall over and forget about your lawn. It's the time to really work on your lawn so you can save time in spring. And probably the first thing I would tell people to do is to get out there and take care of some of those weeds, especially weeds like this. This is a dandelion. Dandelions are perennial weeds, so what will happen is they're not going to go away. You, removing these guys by even just hand removal, simple like that, pop it in over there, you're going to get rid of it. You need to get rid of the root as well. We could also use something as an alternative, like a weed be gone, and this here is actually a chelated iron. The reason why I'm not applying this today is it's a wet day that's out there. So on wetter days, it's really easy to pull those weeds out because they just kind of pop out so easy, but they also don't really attach their roots to the soil. By being wet, they'll just come out so, so easy. And there, so number one, weed that lawn. Okay, I feel like our lawns don't look like your lawn. We might have a few more weeds than you do. So what if we're, <laughs> we're doing that thing and our lawn is left with the holes? What do we do about that? So you have your holes that are here, right? You can see those there. Number one, they're fantastic because they're going to give some aeration. <laughs> so if you have more holes like that, the aeration will allow more nutrients and more water to get down. Of course, after you're done weeding your lawn, if it's fairly early in the fall, not later fall, we can always just do a little bit of an overseed. This here is uh, a seed that has a mulch seed and fertilizer all mixed in. And just by putting that seed down, it's going to fill out. The whole idea that we're trying to do is you see the square footage that we've taken the weed out. We want to replace that with grass so the grass will fill that space up and that weeds won't go in there and fill that space up. So that's the goal. So overseeding. Overseeding. Okay, and do you fertilize before you've mowed the lawn and cleared out and removed the leaves? So what you want to do first off is even when we talk about mowing and talking about cutting the lawn, at this time of the year we want to make sure that we're cutting it a little bit shorter. So that's the key. We want to drop that blade down to about two to three inches. We want to mow the lawn first, we want to clean up that debris, then we want to fertilize. The fertilizer that we want to use is we want to use a fall formulated fertilizer. So for the fall formulated fertilizers, you're going to see now a higher nitrogen number, that 32010. That nitrogen there puts sugars into the blades of the grass. So in the blade of this grass here, what it's going to do is put a higher amount of sugar in that blade. And by putting sugar inside that blade of grass, natural sugars, it actually is like an insulator. So protecting the lawn from real cold temperatures. So a fall fertilizer, but mow, rake up first. Thankfully, my leaves haven't gone down yet. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful there. And now you're telling me there's sugar in the lawn. Should I be snacking on it like I see my dog doing? Like, that's, that to me is a bit enticing. Mm. Maybe not. I think your neighbors think you're a little weird. You did that, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I know at this time of year, mushrooms are popping up sometimes on our lawns. Yeah. Uh, are these mushrooms poisonous? What do we do? How do we remove them? How do we deal with them? So with mushrooms, you, if you don't know what they are, just leave them alone. There are some edible ones, but you really have to be knowledgeable of those ones to forage. The reason why we have weeds in our lawn, let's say that we have a bigger tree like this and it's putting its root over and then that root dies. Generally underneath the soil, wherever you see a mushroom, that's where you're going to see decaying wood. It could be from the builder that left maybe a piece of wood that's down or rotted tree roots. We can either aerate, increase airflow to that area or go and dig out those roots underneath and those are some ways that we can get rid of the mushrooms. But if you have mushrooms, you have decaying wood underneath that it's growing on. Ooh, that's good to know because I've spotted some in our backyard as well. Listen, let's talk about uh, homes that have female dogs that like to leave their mark all over the place. They might pee, they might have some yellow spots that almost looks like the grass is burnt. Is there anything you can do mm -hmm. about that? How do you deal with that? So this here is from my friend Brad's dog, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's a female dog, came over for a little bit of a visit that's there. And yeah, good old Charlie went out and did some bathrooms. So there's a couple different things that we can do. Number one, we can talk to our vet. They can adjust the diet of a female dog. And sometimes that'll help out with the acidity of the urine. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we can do is we can do, uh, put down some horticultural lime. That lime will neutralize the acidity and actually help improve that. And then we will have to overseed and top dress. There are some products that are available that are mulch, seed, and lime all combined together that'll neutralize the acidity and then thicken that lawn out but a lot of the times just adjusting your dog's food will help with the burn marks
Okay, that is good to know. So it's about yeah, playing with that diet a little bit. Let's talk about watering. Yeah. Uh, can you overwater yeah. your lawn, Frankie? And when it starts to get cold, you know, if the water freezes, is that going to be damaging for your lawn? Lawn's a cool temperature plant that loves water. They just love water. You're not you're not going to really overwater your lawn at any time. And really, you can see this overcast day where we have some rain that's happening. That's why our lawn gets a little bit greener. Uh, if we do go through periods of drought in the fall, and sometimes we do, we have to continue to water your lawn. And really, you can water the lawn all the way through until frost sets in. And for people that are just moving into new homes, that are getting new sod that's put it down right now, they got to water. Water, water, water until the snow flies, and you're going to be fine. Okay, so these are the tips you need to do for your lawn right now, and then if you follow them all, Frankie, are you guaranteeing us a good lawn in the spring? I'm guaranteeing you a greener lawn on the gate wide, the gateway to goodness overall. <laughs> <laughs> I will take that guarantee in writing, please. Just joking. These are great tips. Frankie, thank okay. you so much for that. Excellent.